What's up guys, Luxide here again, coming to you with another, hopefully awesome video. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you click that like, subscribe button, that way you'll know when we go live with more content. All right, let's talk some XRP, something I haven't really done yet. So obviously, you know, most people are aware that uh, Ripple is going through this lawsuit with the SEC. Uh, you know, claiming that they should have, you know, registered as a security, blah, 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 right? Well, while this lawsuit is going on, XRP is still making deals, right? So Ripple lands a partnership with Singa, Singa, Sing, wow, Singapore based payments firm to leverage XRP for cross border settlements. So this is something that actually really speaks to me because when I first got into crypto, the very first um, cryptocurrency that I invested in was a pay rail system. And I really saw the benefits um, and the, the potential future use of uh, being able to spend cryptocurrency, you know, because it's fast, it can replace the outdated um, credit system that we have, you know, it's like, it's like 40, 50 years old, right? So it can replace that, it'll be faster, it's you know, more secure. There's all sorts of reasons, right? So this goes on to say that a Singapore-based payment solution provider is going to use on-demand liquidity, ODL, Ripple's XRP-powered cross-border payment product. FOMOPay will use ODL to improve its cross-border treasury flows, according to a new press release from Ripple. So let's see. Yeah, so basically they're going to use... Uh, this payment product, right, to get access to liquidity for euro and dollar in order to facilitate same day payment settlements. And this is very important because if you're familiar with, uh, you know, the original, original meaning or creation of Bitcoin, right, it was supposed to be this peer to peer digital currency. Well, because of obviously the block size, um, it, it was impossible to do that because it, you know, it would just take too long. Right. Nobody can sit there and wait hours for a transaction to go through. Right. For a transfer from one person to another, which is why all these these uh, places have come along with just faster and faster and faster solutions that it seems like we're really moving um, towards towards this. Right. There are a couple different uh, companies that utilize this on demand lending. So Asimo, Novati, Flash FX, I Remit, Tranglo, SBI Remit and Pipel among a few others. So if you see, you know, those kind of names floating around, that's that's what they do, right? Now, there's another article I found that kind of confirms uh, what we just found out. So Ripple CEO threatens to leave the US if it loses the SEC case. Well, you know, it makes sense that they're uh, making deals outside the country because uh, even if, you know, the SEC is, oh yeah, you get registered as security, the show goes on. Right? We march forward. We don't stop for no one. Right? He just says he thinks the facts are on um, their side. Yeah, it says right here the, the SEC accused the company of failing to register roughly $1.4 billion in XRP tokens as securities. Now, I haven't been keeping too much up to date on the case. I've kind of been looking at, you know, brief, uh, brief, you know, updates things going on like that. I haven't dove into it too much. There might be some more people that are familiar with it, a little more familiar with it than I am. But, you know, basically looking at the the, the one month chart on XRP, I mean, it's kind of been hanging in that 31 to 37 level, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy, you know, with how, uh, with how volatile the market has been. I mean, that's really not that bad, all things considered. There could be great upside. I mean, right now it looks like on the uh, the 24 hour chart, okay, XRP is up 3.27%, which is to be expected because the whole market realistically is pumping right now. I mean, the whole market's up 2.27%, but we'll we'll have to keep our ear close to the ground. You know, see if we hear any more about some of these financial dealings. Obviously, the the XRP case as it goes through the the, the trial with the SEC. I'm sure that'll be a long delayed out process. So they must, might just say, screw it. We're moving anyways, right? But uh, yeah, whatever works. But, you know, again, this is not financial advice. Um, but, you know, 
I'm trying to at least keep you updated on some of the stuff. That way you can have a luck on your side, just like me. Again, if you haven't, uh, hit that subscribe button, the follow. Ding. And we'll have uh, more videos coming your way. You guys have an awesome one.